Hello everyone. In this short demonstration video, we will see how the OFTM example is run on the ping and what are the changes required to configure the uh, RFSOC board for varying frequencies. So first of all, the overlay files or say the driver files which are required to, uh, to run the entire design on the board, we need the bitstream file and the hardware handoff files which are generated while creating the block design in Vivado and while generating the bitstream. Additionally, we need to uh, specify the, the frequency for which the DAC and ADC tiles uh, are need to be configured according to the bit file that you have uploaded. So uh, taking the example for the original design in which the design is working at 384 MHz frequency with a sampling rate of uh, 3.072 MHz, we'll up we will upload the corresponding files. and then additionally modify the uh, overlay files according to the required DAC and ADC clock frequencies. The overlay.py file is the one which needs to be changed. So here in the uh, main class we can specify the clock frequencies at which uh, the reference clock frequencies at which my DAC and ADC tiles need to function. So for this case it is 384 megahertz the center frequency and for the DAC separately 384 with the sampling frequency of 3072 MHz or say 3.072 GHz. Similarly for the ADC tile sorry. now we can save these changes and then we can run our design. So we can restart the, uh, the kernel to uh, run from scratch. So once the kernel is free, we can run the code. So first of all, uh, all the overlay and the driver packages will be uh, imported, which are required while implementing the entire, uh, while running this entire code. And then from the overlay function itself, the bitstream file, which we have uploaded here, will be uh, programmed on the board. Once it is done, we can uh, run the design and can observe various outputs which are uh, which can be plotted here in the ps so right now my uh, modulation scheme which we have selected is 64 gram so this value is being passed to the transmitter block uh, in the pl so here we are plotting the transmitted data symbols the transmitted uh, complex data, data symbols the blue blue plot shows the in phase and the red plot shows the quadrature phase symbols so uh, uh, these values are with uh, respect to the time values. After that, we can see the channel estimation plot and the uh, consolation plot of the received symbols. So like it was 64 uh, QAM modulation scheme selected, the consolation plot is also for the 64 QAM. Similarly, if I change it for say 256 QAM uh, by oops, modulation value is 256, the changes will be reflected in the plots also. So this is for I and Q symbols of the transmitted values and this is the constellation plot. After this the symbol error rate can also be computed. For that we have added a demodulator which is implemented in the PS part itself. So here it displays the bar and symbol error rate values for uh, uh, 256 gram in this case. Thank you.